With so many people flaunting their wealth on social media, it's easy to see why a lot of us couldn't help but feel sorry for our mediocre middle-class lifestyle. Coming to bed, honey? Yes, dear. But I'm here to tell you now, not all that glitters on Facebook and Insta are the real deal. Let's unmask some influential frauds as we round up the eight fake rich people. Exposed! What's up, Facnatics? This is Discovery Amuse, serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out-of-this-world fun facts. Stay tuned because a lot of people were fooled by our number one pick until he finally came clean. Time to catch some pretty little liars. I haven't changed that much, have I? Number eight, 50 Cent. Go, go, Charlie. Back in the early 2000s, American rapper Curtis Jackson, aka 50 Cent, partied like it's your birthday and he didn't give a damn if you weren't invited. Now, with over 30 million albums sold worldwide, he became one of the best-selling rappers at the time. However, his reckless lifestyle and legal troubles left him grasping for every one of those 50 cents in his bank account. In July 2015, Fiddy filed for bankruptcy after his deal with Sleek Audio for a line of headphones went bust and he was sued by the company. He also had to pay Lastonia Leviston a whopping $7 million in damages for making their sex tape public. Oh. But just a few months after declaring himself bankrupt, he posted a photo of himself on Instagram with piles of banknotes, spelling out the word broke. He also posted a video showing a palatial house which he said he was constructing in Africa. You know, I'm consistently being made out to be a target because of uh, my financial situation. Keep watching because you might be one of those people who fell for the high rolling antics of our number one entry. Well, spoiler alert, it was all an act. Number seven, Ty Lopez. This popular internet marketer and YouTube creator is quite notorious for flaunting his ultra lavish lifestyle online, which is basically to encourage people that they too can achieve such social status if they subscribe to his paid online courses. However, some critics dismiss his courses as nothing more than a get rich quick scheme. One of his most watched videos is this one called Here in My Garage, where he boasts his newly purchased Lamborghini. I'm not promising you that tomorrow you're gonna be able to go out and buy a Lamborghini. On some videos, his garage is also seen filled to the brim with luxury wheels. But before you get jealous of all his fortune, consider this clip where he admits that the red Ferrari in his garage is, well, least. Yo, this one has my, this is the DMV registration, and it has my name, I'm Moz sure. Group, or Ty Lopez. It's LSE. I'm not sure. Oh. Why would they write that? Oh, because lease. That means it's a lease. But how about the Beverly Hills house where a lot of his content was filmed? In January 2017, Ty addressed the rumor with this tweet that dared people to prove he didn't own the house. However, in this clip, Ty clearly mentions that the house, like the red Ferrari, is also leased. This is your house. So, this house, because there's been a lot of controversy if this is my house or not, this is a house that I do through my business. It's not a rental. So It's, it's a owned? Lease. It's a lease. Rental, lease, it's all semantics, don't you think? And Ty built his empire mostly on semantics, so go figure. Number six. Sadell Jung. For so-called social media influencers, it seems like there's a standard checklist of IG feed must-haves. Food flat lays? Check. Nature photos? Check. Travel snaps? Definitely! Hong Kong-based blogger Sadell Jung sure has ticked all the boxes. It's just that not all of her pictures were actually hers. In June of 2018, social media sleuths did some digging on her supposed Italian holiday, which isn't really hard to do these days because of this little thing called reverse image search. One of the pictures Sadell posted was a photo of the Amalfi Coast. Unfortunately for her, some eagle-eyed people eventually discovered that it was a cropped image from an Australian travel company's website. 
her followers then began investigating her other photos, and lo and behold, a lot of them were grabbed from somewhere around the web. Even this avocado toast which she claimed to cook herself. After getting exposed, Sadell had to delete 95 photos from her IG, along with the thousands of likes and comments that came along with them. <gasps> Ooh, que horror! Number 5. Sean Kingston August 2016, the Jamaican-American rapper went eeny meeny miny mo at a watch store ordering a total of nine pieces of jewelry, including diamond necklaces, gold chains, and bejeweled watches, even though he didn't have the G's to pay for all the bling. Kingston's overall shopping haul amounted to more than 300 grand, but instead of paying up front, he just told the people at Aquamaster that his manager would wire the money. However, instead of wire transfer, the store received two checks from Kingston's company, which both bounced due to insufficient funds. And it became apparent that Kingston wasn't about to pay Aquamaster back, so the company decided to take matters to court. Kingston insists, though, that all of the allegations are false and that he is not broke, people. It's not I'm late on the payment because I don't have the money to pay you. I'm late on the payment because my mom handles my business and she's all over the place because I don't have a business manager. When, when I'm late on that payment, it's not like I can't pay for it. Number four, Soldier Boy. This highly addictive earworm spent seven weeks at the top of the Billboard charts and even gave birth to a viral dance challenge, essentially skyrocketing Soulja Boy to hip-hop royalty. But it seemed like the Kiss Me Through the Phone rapper was flaunting a lifestyle that was way beyond his means. In 2014, an Instagram account named Fake Watch Busta outed Soldier Boy's fake Audemars Piguet watch that seemed to be stuck at 1025. Fake watch busters. Fuck all them folks, man. I got 10 million followers on Facebook. I got half a million followers on YouTube. I got 3 million on Instagram and 4.9 million on Twitter. Well, I only have like 15 followers on Twitter, but I don't have any fake watches. Also, in 2014, Soldier posted an IG video of him flaunting a bundle of Benjamins, but when you look at the clip closely, you'll notice that the said stacks are just a bunch of blank paper in between $100 prints. Looks like this Soldier is a veteran at faking it at making it. Number 3. Bo Wo. Chad Moss, aka Bo Wo made a splash in the early 2000s as a teenage hip-hop star and actor. At a young age, he had released albums and starred in Hollywood movies and TV shows, which undoubtedly grew his fortune early in his life. However, his money situation may have taken a downturn once he was all grown up. In 2017, the Like You rapper posted a photo of a luxury car parked beside a private jet on his socials. Based on the caption, he was traveling to New York City on a private flight from DeKalb Peachtree Airport in Georgia. But on that same day, someone spotted him on a commercial flight. It was such an epic fail that it even spawned the hashtag Bow Wow Challenge, where people fabricated their own lies and posted them online. So I saw a picture that I liked. It was my mood picture, so I posted it. I put travel day. So someone's on the plane, they take a picture of me, right? and says, well, that's kind of odd. The way it looked, it looked as if I was taking the big boy jet going to New York, and really I was on Delta. First so basically, he's saying his post was taken out of context. Yeah, right. Uh-huh, sure. Number two, Lil Tay. I see why am I, Lil Tay used to be a rising internet star who had attracted over 2.5 million followers on Insta. The Chinese-Canadian nine-year-old became viral for all the wrong reasons, posting obnoxious videos of her living the high life in the hills. And now we be living in the hills. See that view? Y'all don't have that view. And I be holding your mama's rent. Flaunting her toilet that costs more than most people's rent. This costs more than your rent. My toilet costs more than your rent. Everything in my bathroom costs more than your rent. And driving a Rolls Royce without a license. I'm only nine years old. I got no license, but I still drive this sports car. The foul-mouthed kid named Claire Hope in real life even calls herself 
the youngest flexer of the century. But apparently, the homes and cars she was flexing were actually owned by her mom's boss and were used without permission. I didn't shoot in anyone else's house. No one has proof that I did. If the fact that her mom was fired by her boss isn't enough proof, I don't know what is. Before we go to our number one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss out on any of our latest life-changing, boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, Brian Denton. The story of Brian Denton and his week-long social experiment of pretending to be rich on Instagram should be enough reason why you shouldn't believe everything you see on social media. Some are genuine, some are fake, and others are just too good with Photoshop. The then 19-year-old vlogger spent an entire week trying to portray a rich kid persona on his social media accounts. He started posting photos of himself living the celebrity lifestyle, like sitting on a private jet, attending parties, wearing designer outfits, the whole nine yards. Brian's account quickly started attracting more likes and followers, and only a handful questioned him about it. Some even speculated that he won the lottery, but after fooling everyone, he then exposed himself through a YouTube video documenting the entire thing. Rich. A lot of the photos and a lot of the Instagram stories got a lot more views and likes than normal, which either means people were like, wow, damn sis, this guy's rich, I'll like his photos, or people were sending it to their friends saying, is this boy for real? And there you have it, our list of the eight fake rich people exposed. Which of these stories shocked you the most? Tell us about it in the comments section below. Take home any of our exclusive gear by browsing our merch shelf or clicking the link in the video description. And while you're at it, take our quiz to find out how you can earn extra cash online doing what you do best. Awesome, right? Want to know which people are legit bathing in dollar bills? Then don't miss our roundup of seven of the world's richest kids who shamelessly flaunt their wealth. Till then, stay true to yourself, Acnatics. Rich or not, we love you. And we'll see you in the next video.